What is up guys, it's Chu here, bringing you another review on Darling the Franks, Franks, Franks Red Hot Sauce, and in this episode, I basically gotta say, what in the world? We're literally going and copying a page from Gurren Lagann. This felt like the finale of Gurren Lagann, and if you guys haven't watched that, well, go check it out. It's probably on Netflix, watch it on Kiss Anime, Crunchyroll, whatever. Check it out. Honestly, this is what this felt. I, it, we knew that they were going to space, but the fight in space wasn't what interested me that much. I really liked the fact that we got a little more, I don't want to say closure, but we got a better understanding of some of the relationships. Um, I want to start off by saying to the nines, thank you. Thank you for what you did, you guys. Although never really understood human emotion did your best to contribute and and what you could in this fight and you all went out in a blaze of glory uh, i knew this was going to happen i knew that they were going to sacrifice themselves uh, or just overall didn't want to be around anymore but it was interesting to see that to to see them go out the way they did uh, complete rip off of Gurren Lagann if i do say so myself but another thing that really I really interested me in this episode and I really liked, excuse me, was the fact that we had Kokoro and Mitsuru's relationship still progressing despite the fact that their memories have been altered, that they don't have any recollection of their past of them together. But despite it all, they still care for each other. They they really have this strong bond i want to say that it is probably already on equal terms as here on zero two and that's probably a really bold statement on my part uh i don't really see why they're not i mean they they've gone through the same thing hero and and zero two have to a certain extent but both of them are overcoming the obstacles they have they weren't given the opportunity to get their memories back and hopefully we can still see that in the last episode but we're, we're not getting that so I did enjoy that uh, the whole zero two and hero meet was interesting to say the least uh, I want to say that's probably the main focus for a lot of people in this episode uh, it's having those two getting together again I honestly <laughs> and I, I might sound horrible for saying this and maybe I'll get dislikes for saying it but I didn't care for the Zero Two Hero reunion. I didn't care for the fact that Zero Two's body was went to being from Earth and magically somehow going into being the st being Stellarezia. I did not care for that. Uh, it was to me at this point also Hero has be fully become a clock source. I think that he is more clock source than human th at this point. And I mean his eyes change. We we have him looking very different now. Uh, he kind of reminds me of, you know, the Clock Source Princess. But it was, it was okay. Uh, I don't want to be all that critical about it. Um, but thanks to this transformation or this, uh, this little reunion that they had, they were able to piece things together. Uh, we could see Zero Two's true reason for not going back to Earth was that she decided to let Hero become more human. She didn't want to be with him and have him become like her any further. Uh, uh, it was really more of a selfish wish that Zero Two had. Uh, but the battle still had to go on. So in a way, she still decided to do this because she was probably the only one that could. And it was, it was touching to a certain extent. But what really made me think... And say, you know, what in the world, like, really was when she decided to become, you know, Stelarezia. Again, I, I don't like this transformation. It, it It's going to sell toys, regardless. But I don't like it. And then, um, before I forget, I also want to mention the Haji and the Nana situation. Uh, both of them have already started to fill in these roles of, like, the new people to be in charge. Especially Hachi. Uh, it's really hard for him to i guess show emotion and we've seen this already before but nana i don't want I, for those that may be shipping them together i don't think they'll be together they have a really like more business type relationship and it i don't think that it'll progress any further than that and if it does it's 
I feel like it'll be forced. But I just feel like getting that out of the way. But going back to the situation with everyone, we have that the Verm army that was there was obliterated, but the main forces are still out there. And therefore, we had Stelarezia open up a gate, a black hole gate, basically, to have them being transported along with the rest of the fleet to go out and take care of Verm. Uh, it was, again, really weird to see a giant Zero Two. It's kind of like seeing a Megazord. And uh, it was kind of a touching reunion for everyone. Uh, well, kind of a goodbye, honestly. I don't expect them to come back, honestly. I feel like they, when they do, they'll all be dead. But that's just my thing. Uh, seeing Ichigo's feelings still, once again, being shown in this episode. So it was really kind of eh for me. But hopefully we'll see them return in one last episode. But overall, episode is okay. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, guys, stay safe, and I will catch you.